Well, joining me now is Jamal Benomar, who's a former UN Special Envoy for Yemen. He's joining us live from New York. Thank you very much for being with us, Mr. Benomar. Uh, the the seven-year conflict in Yemen intensifying again. Um, the attack on the UAE earlier this week seems to have opened up a new front. What is, first of all, your reaction to this latest escalation? Is the Saudi-led coalition's response proportionate, as its UN ambassador claims? Obviously, it's not proportionate. Um, there have been reports um, over the last seven years of widespread war crimes committed by the Saudi-led Saudi coalition, and this is one other episode, you know, in this um, uh, sad process of um, um, of violations um, that have effect, have affected, you know, the lives of millions of of people, as you have. Uh, explained in the introduction, um, it is a sign of desperation, you know, from the the Saudi coalition side. Um, you know, when they entered this, um, when they decided to launch this war on Yemen, you know, they promised, you know, that they will um, uh, bring back their proxies or their clients to power, you know, within um, uh, three weeks. Mm -hmm. um, seven years have passed, and they have not been able to achieve any of their objectives. Um, they failed consistently to bring an end to this war. In fact, their intervention has only complicated an already complicated situation, political situation in uh, right. in Yemen. And the, um, uh, the, the airstrikes in, in, in the West killed at least 80 people, most of them migrants, we understand. The United Nations is calling for an investigation. Do you think there will be accountability? There has been no no accountability whatsoever since the start of this war. In my last report to the Security Council, when it was the UN envoy, um, that was in April 2015, 2015 um, in that last report, I draw the attention of the Security Council to reports or allegations of uh, war crimes committed by the coalition and mainly through airstrikes and we have seen consistently that um, civilian civilian uh, uh, targets uh, were victims of these attacks um, um, funerals weddings um, um, a bus full of children was blown up um, and then more recently the um, the saudi intensive lobbying managed to bring to an end the only human rights mechanism that has existed in the last few years yeah. under the um, Human Rights Council, there was a panel of experts investigating these, uh, these reports, but um, they managed to get uh, enough member states to shoot down you know, this investigation. So since then, these attacks on civilians right. and um, uh, these airstrikes have increased dramatically and there is no end in sight. But within a month of taking office, U.S. President Biden had promised to push for ending the war in Yemen, partly by, by cutting off arms sales to Saudi Arabia. Why hasn't that happened? Isn't there a collective failure here, a collective responsibility, a failure from countries like the United States? It's a failure from the not only the United States side, but um, the permanent members of the Security Council. The reality is that all the five members, um, instead of cooperating um, to try and find a way on how to compel the Saudis to end their war on Yemen and um, compel the Yemeni side, you know, to enter in good faith in a political process, you know, to end this strife, um, they, in fact, have been competing for a lucrative contract, you know, with Saudi Arabia and the OAE. Mm. Um, so the highest body um, in the world, in the United Nations, this UN Security Council, you know, the members have not been, uh, have not played, I'm afraid, a positive role in the last few years, particularly since 20. 2015. And uh, the Biden administration, everybody welcomed the announcement by the president that um, efforts will be made to bring this war to an end. And uh, a special envoy was appointed. But what I see recently is um, um, the United States resuming their sales mm -hmm. to Saudi Arabia, sales of arms and munitions. And then there are other big, huge contract, also military contract with the OAE. Right. And um, in, in this context, you know, I, the United States is basically has taken sides. You know, they cannot be a referee in this conflict. They cannot be a mediator, as they have claimed. 
there had been a little bit of progress in trying to achieve a ceasefire. Would you say now that we're back at square one, and what do you think needs to happen to achieve a sustainable political solution, including uh, accountability? I think what needs to happen is that the uh, Yemenis will need to be left um, alone, uh, left to sort out their problems through negotiating directly with each other, as they have done um, uh, for years and uh, or for a thousand years, whenever there was any strife or conflict. Um, we should not f forget how this um, um, uh, conflict started. You know, it started, you know, with um, uh, you know, Houthis taking over um, Sana'a in uh, 2014, and then um, Houthis and uh, Muslim Brotherhood, uh, other factions, sat down, and it was the mediates and the facility at that time to work out an agreement for a way forward, and they were close to an agreement until the Saudis decided to launch, you know, okay. this war on Yemen. And um, since then, it's been a complete failure. No political process, um, no negotiations, really genuine um, good faith negotiations taking place. And uh, the Saudi coalition, they feel emboldened, you know, when they see the U.S., um, you know, resuming their arms sales. Um, when they see, for example, that the Saudi Council, you know, they uh, condemned, mm. uh, they have to the attack on the OAE by the Houthis. But here you are, the news today of more than 100 um, casualties, all civilians, and uh, obviously there isn't going to be any statement from the Security Council. So um, the international community has not played a helpful role um, in the last seven years. Mm -hmm. On the contrary, you know, they're in, they are becoming party to this conflict. I mean, that's what the reality is. You know, hey. when you know the members of the Security Council um, compete for lucrative contract with the Saudis and the OAE, you know, they are sending the signal that they can do whatever they like in Yemen. Thank you so much for talking to us and sharing your views with us. Jamal Benomar is a former UN Special Envoy for Yemen. He was joining us there from New York. Thank you very much for your time.